Hi guys, it's Haley. We are going on another decluttering adventure today. Um, this time I am going through my shoes. I feel like I don't have too, too many. Definitely less shoes than I have t-shirts, but um, still I have too many that I would like in the space that I have. So we are gonna go through that today. Let's get into it, I guess. I have all of my shoes here, uh, and we are going to, I don't know, just go through them, I guess. <laughs> I'll try some of them. I'll try them on and assess for damages, you know, regular decluttering nonsense. Um, also, I would like to point out my wonderful sock selection of the day. We have Hinata and my Crypted Socks. Pretty sure both of these are from Hot Topic. I never wear matching socks and it annoys people in my life, but I genuinely just don't care. So if that bothers you, I am sorry. I will go into, let's get into the first pair. Um, I have these lace up combat boots. They are from Rash, I believe is what it says. Um, very cute. They are my go-to winter boots, but the laces are really messed up, so uh, I will have to get new laces for them, but I am absolutely keeping these bad boys. They've gotten me through quite a few winters, and they're still in great condition. So, keeping those, other than the road salt that is on them. These. <laughs> these ones. Definitely what you would call old lady shoes. They're kind of like loafers. But they don't have any backs to them. I got them for my brother's graduation photo shoot. I haven't worn them since and they kind of look like the cat peeped on them. So these are no. Ooh, these ones I've had for a long time. Um, these ones are also from Ardeen's. Uh, pretty sure they still fit. They are my... I'm trying to put together a cute fall look booty um and hey let's pretend i don't wear exclusively black clothes so oh, there is literally something in this shoe but these are the boys they're faux suede and it looks like they're from our jeans as well still holding up a bit of a round toe and i don't know if i really like round toes anymore i feel like i'm more of a pointy gal but they're the only brown pair of booties I have, so we're gonna keep these. What the hell is in this shoe? <laughs> it was a tack. We have these clear jelly rain boots with a sparkly base. These are probably from Urban Planet, if I am guessing right. I, considering how I live in a very rainy um, province, you would think that I would wear these more often, but I don't. Um, they're just not that comfortable because of their rubber and the backs rub on my heels and it's uncomfortable. So these ones are gonna go. Great. Rocks. Nice. Where did I go with these? So these ones are like they reminded me of like a cute 40s, 50s style shoe. I saw them everywhere in like 2012. I fell in love with a pair on Pinterest and um, they were teal and I wanted them. So I have them in many colors. Wow, also from Ardeans. Can you tell that I am questionable in where I purchased my shoes? Um, don't want to wear flats anymore. <clears throat> They're still in good condition, other than the fact that they are full of rocks. Um, so I'm going to get rid of these ones. Wow, another pair of booties. The same ones that I had in brown, but in black. These are my go-to if I'm going somewhere and it's not raining. Super comfortable. Um, they have quite a bit of wear in them, but... I love them, so I'm going to keep them until 
the sole literally falls out. These very, very dirty baby pink um, Nikes. I got them secondhand on Marketplace. I absolutely loved them. I wore them every single day. And I have a habit of pushing my toes up when I'm stressed. So I dug a hole through both toes of these ones. Um, so I'm gonna have to throw these out, which makes me sad. Okay, so these ones are dirty because they were underneath where underneath where my um, winter boots were dethawing, I suppose. So these babies are my M and Sprout Halloween jack-o'-lantern slides. I love them. They are perfect for summerween. They're just really comfortable. I wore them a whole bunch in the summer all the way up until the fall when my feet were finally getting cold. Um, yeah, I still wear them uh, sometimes when I'm doing, going to the laundry room and all that stuff, but yes, these are my sweet babies and I'm keeping them. I will link them and Sprout in the bio, um, or sorry, in the description. She's got a bunch of other um, Halloween related art styles. Um, different products. She has these in orange, baby pink, and lavender. I really want to get my hands on some of the pastel Halloween ones. So um, yeah, if you are interested, that will be in the description for you. These. I was going through it in 2015. That is probably how long I've had these. 2015, 2016. I would basically just only watch Pushing Daisies um, and I bought these because they reminded me of Chuck. I don't think I've ever worn them. As an adult I have realized that I am not a pumps person. I am a bit of a mess. I don't even know what I have that would even go with these anymore um, other than a couple of dresses but yeah never even wore them so these guys are going <laughs> these babies are my fish flops me and my friend group that i used to work with all have a pair in different colors um i feel like these are the bane of my boyfriend's existence he hates them they're very weird and i understand i just they're just ridiculous and i love them so they're actually just super comfortable which is weird because it's like made out of, I guess, like silicone, maybe. Uh, these were from Amazon Japan, but I'm pretty sure you can find them like anywhere now. I've seen them a lot over the internet. So if you just type in fish flops, I'm sure you'll find them. Remember the Adidas superstar uh, with the holographic stripes? Uh, I was obviously too poor for those, um, so I got these from Ardeans. They are the wrong size. Um, they are one size too big for me. Um, I wore them a lot and I hurt my heels because they are too big. So even though I love these ridiculous holographic chunky sneakers, they're gonna have to go to a better home. The shining prize and glory of my collection. Uh, these are my strange cult uh, creepers. They are pastel and beautiful. They are a little stiff in the heel, so I have to wear like 10,000 band-aids if I'm gonna wear them, but I love them so much. They were they're my first pair of like proper creepers. These are so cute. I love everything about them little heart details where the laces tie up. These are like my absolute favorite colors. Purple, pink, turquoise. It's just everything. I love them. Um, so obviously I'm keeping them because they are my children. Uh, these are less exciting, but they are my hiking boots. They are redhead brand, which I appreciate. Um, they are great. They're super comfy. Uh, they hold up through the snow. 
I was using these during our big snowstorm because I couldn't deal with my laces. So yes, obviously keeping these, they are very practical. These boys are um, my, these are another pair of why are you shoes, like my strange called ones. Um, you might've seen these floating around Instagram. I got them from Fox Blood, um, but you can buy them like off strange called themselves. It has a little peekaboo window on the toes here, moon and three stars. And I just think it's so cute. I try to match my socks when I'm wearing these sometimes, but you know, your girl can only do so much here. These are actually really great. They're really comfortable and they have a little bit of a heel and anything that helps in my, my five foot two ass a little bit taller is nice. I love these. These are some more flats from our Dean. I don't really know where I was going with these, more of that round toe that I don't really like anymore. Um, I can't tell if they're supposed to be pink or beige, like millennial pink or beige. Uh, they're a bit worse for wears. I don't even know if I want to donate these because they look like really messed up. The heel is very questionable. I don't. I'm gonna have to chuck these ones, which is fine because I don't even remember buying them or wearing them. Hey, you probably know these if you've been watching my channel. My Converse spiderweb shoes. They are very uncomfortable. The rubber part here just never broke in. Um, so I don't really wear them, <laughs> but I am stubborn and I. Uh, refuse to get rid of them. So I am keeping these just because they're cool and hoping that one day maybe I can break the heel in in a way that won't make me bleed and uncomfortable. Brown flat of that 40s, 50s inspired shoe. I'm gonna probably pass on these as well. Rounded toe, not really my vibe anymore. And for some reason I only have one. I know I have another one hiding somewhere, but just the one for now. These are my everyday shoes. My sweet baby Vans. Um, Adam got me these. They are worn to shit. I love them so much. They were mint and now they look like, and now they look like gray. Um, I have tried to wash them. Nothing's really coming out of here, but yeah, I am going to keep them again until there is a hole through the bottom, which there might be. Uh, Vans still the most comfortable shoes I have ever worn. Again, for some reason, I only have one of these at the moment. Uh, this was a thrift store find when I was a teenager. It is originally from Le Chateau. It looks like a little, like, when I saw it, I thought it was Victorian, but I don't think it's got like that Victorian look. I feel like it, I don't know, like the Marie Antoinette era kind of shoe that men wore. I don't know if that makes sense. That's what it looks like to me now. Um, it's velvet and I love the detailing on it, but I have definitely not worn it since high school. I, again, I don't really wear heels, um, and I only have one, so goodbye. Wow, our Dean flip-flops. I don't even wear flip-flops like this. I mean, you only wear slides. I at least wear flip-flops almost every single day, um, even in the rain, like a crazy person when I was younger, but I don't like them anymore. I think these were emergency shoes, probably emergency shoes from the spider web converse um they look like they've been worn once they're really good condition uh, so maybe i will keep them for emergency shoes lastly i have this baby um i got this from winners it i don't know what the brand is it used to say on the inside but it's completely worn off now but i got these because um i used to watch graveyard girl religiously 
and she had shoes kind of like this. They also kind of reminded me of um, Kayla Nicholson. I love them. I had my exit interview with my least favorite job in these. Um, and when I walked through the back, I was wearing them and I just felt so powerful with the clicking of the heel. It was just my favorite. Um, anyway, I am keeping them even though I only have the one right now. I think the other one is in the closet somewhere, but <sighs> they're a good fall shoe. I like the buckles. It's a vibe. All right. Well, that is it for me today. Um, thank you for hanging out and going through these with me. Uh, if you are local to me and are interested in any of the ones I'm giving away, uh, let me know. <laughs> but I think I am going to end up donating most of them because, eh, meh. Yeah, I feel like I did good. I feel better about my chaos than I had at the front door. So yes, thank you so much for watching guys. Um, I definitely... And try, I definitely am trying a lot harder to downsize um, this year. I just am overwhelmed with the amount of, I'm just overwhelmed with the amount of clutter I have. And I just don't really feel like I need all of the stuff that I have anymore. So uh, if you're interested in more of these decluttering videos, um, stick around. I will link the playlist I have for my decluttering videos down in the descriptions below and any of the uh, links I could find for the shoes that I have that I think you guys might be interested in will also be down there. Uh, yeah, so let me know what is your favorite shoe of mine? Um, because I'm curious on what you guys like out of my wardrobe. I think that'd be a fun conversation. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Be safe.